Today, I want you to tell me if I successfully sorted out my audio issues. So welcome back. Today's video is a little bit off topic. Don't worry, we'll get back to programming soon. But several of you have commented about audio issues in the past. It seems like most of you are okay with it, but some of you have commented mostly varying loudness issues. Sometimes it's louder, sometimes it's quieter, or some people have just said the level's too low. And honestly, until now, I haven't really had much time to work on it. This channel is something that I do in the early mornings, evenings, weekends, and I'm always in a bit of a hurry, but I did want to let you know today that I did take some time to look at it. I wanted to let you know that I'm looking at it, and I think I found a few things, and I thought today we would discuss it, and I would take you along on the journey. You see, the problem is our ears are really good at adjusting to varying loudness levels, so I may not notice when I'm editing if the loudness goes up or down. Honestly, I'm probably focusing on editing out that really bad joke I made about how constant isn't constant. And I think the root cause of the audio problems in the past has been my setup, which my setup is really designed to make things fast. You'll notice a theme in everything I'm saying today. My goal is to make videos quickly because I have a day job. It keeps me really busy. But my setup is pretty simple. I have a camera right here. I have a single light right up here. And I have a shotgun microphone that sits right here over my head. And the problem is, is that this shotgun mic is directional. So it's gonna be louder if I'm talking straight into it or if I'm looking at the camera than it will be if I take a moment to look down at my laptop when we're working on code. Sorry, I'm not at a point where I can program without looking at the screen, maybe someday, but not today. And yes, I could use a lav mic. You've actually seen me use a lav mic in a few of my previous videos, and that helps with this problem because lav mics, at least the one that I have, is more omnidirectional. It picks up sound from all over the place. The problem with lav mics is I have to take the extra time to, you know, get it all wired up through my shirt, and I have to edit out all the times where I accidentally bump the microphone, which sadly happens surprisingly often when I'm using one. Also, lav mics tend to pick up a lot of background noise, so if my family members in the other room are doing the dishes, or let's say they're running a vacuum or flushing the toilet or whatever, it tends to get picked up by the lav mic. So that makes more editing time. So that's why I'm not using a lav mic. In the past, when I've used a lav mic, it's fine. There are definitely some audio benefits, but it makes for more work. And as I mentioned before, my real emphasis here, my real goal is it's critical that my video making process is fast. And anyway, just to show you how this happens, you can see it, uh, you know, if, if I, I don't always hear it, but I can see it. If you look at the loudness radar here in Premiere Pro, you can see that the loudness varies when I move my head. And so since my current setup is otherwise working really well, my solution for now is simply to try to fix this in post using a little bit more audio compression and normalization. So again, as you see here with the uh, loudness radar, you can see that I do now have a much more uniform loudness level. I've also increased the loudness a bit so it sounds louder in comparison to other YouTube content. And I hope that's helpful to you. I hope it makes for a better listening experience. Those of you that have commented about the audio in the past, please do let me know if this is an improvement, if this sounds better to you. If you never really noticed, then no big deal. Just keep listening. Thank you for being here. Also, big thanks to all of you who subscribe and like and support this channel on Patreon. You make what I'm doing possible and a whole lot more fun. I don't know if you've noticed recently, but we're getting close to 100,000 subscribers and I'd love to get there by the end of the year. So if you're feeling so inclined, please share the channel with your friends and until next week, I'll see you later.